What's going on ladies and gents and welcome back to another episode of the Minecraft Let's Play World. So I actually wanted to show you guys a bit of an update as to what I've been doing since the last episode. I've been working diligently. Well, no, I've honestly put in a couple hours work here. I uh, just expanded the base a little bit, made a little uh, dock for the boat so I can park the boat. Yes, park the boat. As so many of you like to point out, it's docking a boat. Listen, I don't know how many of you are yacht experts and boat experts. That is parked to me. Perfectly parked, I might add. Gone ahead and planted a few birch trees here. Now this wasn't here, I literally just made this five minutes ago. Uh, but I've been planting birch trees just so I can have a little bit of extra wood on our little secluded island here. Planted some reeds because we're going to eventually need the paper. Or, well, transform the reeds or the sugar canes into paper, which then transforms into books, which then transforms itself into a cra into an enchanting table, which means we can then get all enchanted up. And on that note, we need to go get some cows. I saw, I saw some cows on that plane over there. So I'm going to take my boat over, put them in a boat, push them all the way here. Um, I was going to do a lead. And on that note, this was the closest slime chunk to me. And um, just take a look at that. And then take a look at my coordinates. <laughs> so, randomly, this little island is in a slime chunk. So I've gone ahead here. Um, I'll explain this in a second. But I've gone ahead, gone all, obviously all the way down to bedrock or down to diamond level so I can hunt for diamonds. But I've gone ahead and tore out this area here. This is, um, what is it? Light, this is 38, this is 39, this is 40. Slime spawned from 40 and below, the Y coordinate. So this is the slime chunk. This is the chunk of slimes I can spawn. Um, and what I'm going to be doing is I don't need a whole bunch of slimes. I need some. So I'm just going to periodi periodically come down here, cut them up with a sword. And I've gotten one slime ball so far. So it's clearly successful. For the full experience, let's go back up here. And I'm going to show you the little elevator thing. Now, remember how I, I took that magma block from one of the underwater structures that I, I raided? Well, I've gone ahead and actually made this an elevator down. And eventually when I get soul sand, I'll make this an elevator up. But uh, if you come here and you hold crouch, you go down real fast. And you have to keep holding crouch so that you don't get burned by the magma block. And this is our little under underground area. Nothing too fancy. Just keep some kelp here. Um, got some, obviously, some stone. I've been clearing out some spaces. Got some resources here, you can see. Now, you may be wondering, Matt, why the hell did you make a second diamond sword when you have one that's, like, nearly full? Um, well, I might have died. I might have died. I didn't say I did. I might have died. All right, guys. That's why I also have an extra set of <laughs> iron armor and diamond armor because yeah i'm a noob now in this door is the most coolest thing you'll ever see in minecraft are you ready it's free real estate it's a kelp farm <laughs> it's just some kelp in a room here um just so i have a constant source of fuel and food um it's really sophisticated as you can tell it's literally a closet of kelp let's let's be real here so what i do is i just do that and then i just put um, you know, I just put it all in there. Yeah, and eventually I'm just kind of, it's kind of just self-propelling at that point. I don't really need to do much to it, which is nice. And then what I've been doing down here is the standard branch mine stuff. The cave that I died in is over there. It's actually attached to an abandoned mine shaft, which is really cool. So when we get a little bit more geared up and have slightly better tools and equipment, we're going to definitely tackle that. Um, I actually saw, already saw a cave spider spawner, right? Yeah, cave spider spawner. And um, we might make a farm out of that. I don't, I'm not too sure. Cave Spider is going to be a little bit tougher. Not only because of the size, but because of the new water mechanics. I'll have to do a little bit of research and playing around in a creative world. But uh, today's episode is going to be consisting of grabbing those cows and bringing them over here. Oh, I can actually hear some slimes. It's in a, They're in a cave somewhere there. Um, I don't think they're... Oh, maybe they are? No, they're not bouncing around here. There's a cave below. Oh, wait. No, they're... <laughs> <laughs> he was in the corner. He fooled me. All right, now we're going to get some slime balls. So you can see clearly the slime farm chunk loader thing works, which is good. And why do I want the slimes? Just for some leads. Just so I can pull some 
pull some Maminoles and stuff. Now, again, this here, all of this here, this is all just temporary stuff. And you might be like, well, Matt, you kind of look like you're building a base here. No, no, no. Trust me. Bigger picture, folks. I got a real big plan. Um, that is, yeah, again, way bigger picture. It's going to be something really cool that goes up really, really high. I just need to get kind of started off here. So we're going to head over to this area here. I'm trying to see where the closest cows are. I think they're over there. Oh, you know what? How am I going to get the cows to here? Hmm. Because what I was thinking is I'll just push the cows on the boat, which I can do if they're close enough. However, I think they're actually inland a little bit. I might need to... Uh... Yeah, the cows are over there. You know what? I'm going to go make a lead. I'll be right back. I think I need string for a lead. Yeah, I think I need four string for a lead. And I'd be honest, I don't know if I have that. This might be interesting here. So, we might be venturing into that um, Ben and Mineshaft and see if we can slay some spiders. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. We're clearly, there you go. And we're in the bend of mine shaft. All right. Oh yeah, wait, I don't need to kill spiders. I can just get the string from the cobwebs, duh. All right, this is gonna be easy, nice. Creeper. You already killed me once, stop it. Make sure I'm clear in the back here. I'm going to come back and harvest all those rails, but right now I don't really... I... Oh, I see I hear a witch. That's not good. I see a witch. Haha, -ha, you missed. Jerk. Wait, I need to eat food. Before I call him a jerk. Wish I had a bow. Here, can I get him? Can I bait him into throwing a potion? Dumbass. Actually, if he throws a potion now, he'll probably hit me, right? Alright, he's drinking potion. Yep, he's regening. Oh, he hit me with that? Really? Jerk. 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 <laughs> oh, jeez. How long does this... Another 25 seconds. Jesus. What is that? A minute long poison? My lord. That is rough. Alright, so what happens if I use shears? Oh, it actually harvests it as cobweb. Okay. And then what if I break with my sword? That's what I need. Okay, so I need to just break with my sword. Oh, we'll get leads. No problems. No problems. Oh, cave spiders. Cave spiders. Collect the rails. Collect the rails. We don't need the rails right now, but we will eventually. So that's probably where I came before. Um, I have two... Three. This is where you. This is where. I'm gonna need to go down more. Is it? Oh shoot! <laughs> Do I need to take on some cave spiders? Uh oh. Uh oh, spaghettios. Wait. No, I don't. Haha. -ha. Oh wait. Uh oh. Gotta be careful here. And of course, I don't have blocks on my hot bar. All right. Good. That was smooth, guys. Easy work. Easy. Oh, I need uh, slime balls here. Um, it's still technically not enough because... Is that how it is? Or like this? Something like this. Wait, I'll find it. I know slime balls in the middle. I thought it was like this. Alright, hold on. We're gonna... <laughs> Damn it. I'm gonna use the damn book. Um, maybe what's available? What's the lead recipe? 
Oh. That's close enough. Oh, yeah, she gives me two leads. Okay, that's even better. Can I pull the cow in another boat with the lead? Like, will that pull the boat as well? Or should I just have the cow and kind of just drag him with the boat? But doesn't the lead break if it's too far? Oh, that's going to be... This is going to be fun, guys. I'm going to do lots of experiments here. All right, so I see the cows over there. This would be the closest right here. So I'm going to face it the correct way. I'm going to park my boat. Park it real good. Yeah, back back that up. <laughs> All right. And let's grab a cow. Well, I have two. Can I connect two at once? Maybe? Yeah? Oh, that works. Thank you for your willing cooperation, guys. Uh, I have two boats, but I need one. So I'm going to... See if I can pop one in here. Come on. There you go. Oh! Oh! That works splendidly. Now, what happens if I do this? In the boat. Turn around. Get closer. And hit them with that lead. Nope. Oh, wait. wait. Well. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So what I'll have to do... Uh, is just push the boat, right? Can I even push the boat anymore? Or should I just do one cow at a time? Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's just do one cow at a time. Is there a way to break the lead? Or, you know what? Actually, hold on, hold on. Come over here. Yeah, come over here. Got an idea. Come over here. I'm gonna see if I can get him in this boat. Let's try and drag him far enough away that he's not going to go in that first boat. Okay, there. And I can go like this, right? With the buddy? Yeah! Cow transport! da na 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 He's just looking. He's like, my friend! My friend! Where are you taking me? Don't worry. You will be reunited. Uh, I still don't know where that other lead is, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, damn it. Do I have to break the boat, maybe? How do I break the boat without hurting the cow? Like that? That works. <laughs> Alright, and then... Bring you over here. Come here, sir. Oh, okay. And come right on in here. Perfect. Oh, just right-click it. Perfect. That was easy. Sick. Alright. And off to the next. Did somebody call a cow taxi? No? Well, too bad. Perfect. That was unbelievably easier than I thought. Let's go ahead and breed these guys here. Hello, little cows. Come here. I know you're not happy, but it's okay. I'll make you happy. Food makes everyone happy. And there's the little baby. I'll even give the baby a little bit of food. There you go. Everybody's happy now. Perfect. So that was extremely easy. I'm not going to lie. I expected that to take a lot longer and be a lot more problematic. But that was fairly straightforward. Good. I'm really liking this little island, like the way I, I kind of laid it out. You know, you have your agricultural stuff here, which I'm probably going to bring the reeds and open up the reeds that way. Uh, and then you have the trees in the background. You got your farm animals here. I'll probably make each one of these a little, like, little pen for pigs, sheep, you know, whatever. Uh, but again, this is all temporary, and I think uh, I kind of want to explain to you guys what my big plan, my big ambition is. And it's going to take many, 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 many episodes, which is good, and it's a big goal, but I think it's going to be really a lot of fun. Um, and so what it is, is... This is the island the way it looks right now, right? This is a cute little island. Disregard the door and the fence there. I'm just too... I just put them there. Okay. So this is what we have so far, right? Now, I would said I wanted to work my way up. What I actually want to do is... I want to build an underwater base, an aquatic base. That's the right word. 
I want to build an aquatic base in the air. So I essentially want to make this just a, a landing area and then a probably a, maybe a 4 by 4 maybe a 5 by 5 square like tube that goes all the way up to the top right near the very very surface I want to be above the clouds which I've turned off right now but I want to be above the clouds and that's going to take and, and the way I have it kind of planned in my head I need to draw it out in creative but as I, I want to make it very modern so a lot of iron a lot of quartz um, a lot of white and black because that's typically even like um, a little bit of concrete like uh, what is that the hardened concrete the nice concrete um, probably gonna use a bit of that so it's there's a lot of, of moving parts to it and it's a big huge project which is going to take a lot of time but we need to get the fundamentals down otherwise if we just start working on it now it's going to take forever if we get all the major pieces all the you know major milestones and achievements and beacons and all that if we get all that done then it makes that task so much easier so i do need a bit of a, a hub right now now what's going to happen of the island it's going to remain a smaller island i'll, I'll downsize it a little bit but i also want to you know, while I am going all the way up, I also want to go all the way down, and I want to make it look it make it look very industrial down there. So I want to make it almost like a vault, like uh, think of like Fallout and the vaults and how they are. I want to make it very, very um, industrial down below the surface, I suppose, having a lot of branches, factories, mines. Um, you know different types of uh, farms I want to do aquariums both up top and the bottom there's there's a lot I want to do and I need to flesh out and kind of work on it in creative worlds um, but again getting the fundamentals down and, and the basics the foundations down so uh, that was a fun episode I actually really enjoyed this adventure I'll keep breeding these cows in the off screen and uh, probably get more and more animals uh, to this area but yeah, thanks guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And if you did, of course, hit the uh, like button on the way out. If you're new to the channel, want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. And if you're super adamant, obviously hit that little bell icon so you can get notified. And you can leave all the first in the comments below. Uh, in addition, I also have all my social media in the description below. I mainly am on uh, Instagram and Twitter. If you want to reach me, Twitter is probably the best way. I have Facebook, Snapchat as well. Uh, Discord, if you want to join the community, highly encourage you guys to enjoy the community. And since you've listened all the way to the end, I'll give you a little sneak peek or a little uh, tidbit as to what's coming up in the future. Um, the Noob server is returning. I've formerly shut down the Realms world that it was on, that was hosted on. It just didn't work very well. Um, not for what I needed. So I do have the noob server up. No one's on it right now. I have a few people whitelisted that I want to make sure have an opportunity. But if you're interested in uh, playing with me on and, and the noob blitz, the noob community, um, keep an eye out for future videos. And trust me when I say your, your support does not go unnoticed. So if you are that person that always likes and comments and, you know, reaches out to me on social media, etc., Trust me when I know who you are, and I, I want to make sure that you are a part of the community um, community multiplayer server. So thanks, guys, so much for watching. Again, have yourselves a fantastic day. Bye-bye.